Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Motorsport Manager. The Timix here. This is, of course, the Ernie's Paradise Challenge, first of the All-Star level. And Vancouver is next, the last race of the first half of the season. And we're trying to hold on to our lead. It's been slipping a bit lately. Things are becoming more challenging as the improvements we're making to the car are just not keeping pace. And we've got to keep throwing everything we possibly can into that, but we've only got a week and a half until Vancouver. Let's see what we've got ahead of us. Would I consider bringing Aki Lippinen next season? Nope, got 100% belief in our drivers. Oh, he's mad. I don't care. Cool. We got more sponsor offers coming in. And Lippinen uh, talking about leaving Windsor Racing anyway. Okay. Well, we're still working on that second engine. For Vancouver, we are going to be focused on the suspension and the rear wing. And how's our reliability? Is it maxed out on everything again? I believe it is. So yeah, rear wing and suspension. The engine is not a key part. So, I think we want to knock that off. We could keep working on it. That is an option. But I'm going to just get rid of it here. And so we're going to get about a third of the boost we're looking for. And the main thing is that will allow us to get more out of the rear wings. Should get most of our gain from the rear wings. So hopefully that will be beneficial. Okay, happy with us being first. What does Michelle Mahoney have to say about top or Vancouver? 44 laps, 3 plus miles, so pretty long track, 40% chance of rain. And rear wings seem to be the key part, ultra soft, super soft, and soft. They want uh, better top speed. I just gave you a new engine, we've just got to work on improving them. So, you are right, but we're, we are working on it. So, chill. Okay? Thanks. Let's see how this is going. And we've gained about 12 points or so on the rear wings. We're, we're improving it. It's, it's going forward there. On to Vancouver. And what do they say? Chariot's going to struggle. Sure. Chapman says he knows he's got what it takes to beat Sharp. And unfortunately, I think he's right. Saarinen is saying a dual, or podium finish is doable for Scuderia Rossini. Hopefully not. Let's take a look at our sponsors. And let's see. We've got a first place sponsor and a fifth place sponsor. So we're doing a lower level sponsor which means I'm more interested in the upfront payment we'll take that 900 K there we go up to 2.7 million we'll get more in this race and of course the engine is just hours away from being finished now we can see overall we're still fifth eighth there Fourth, even though we're close to the top in the gearbox, breaks down to fifth, still above average, still well above average for a third there. The suspension is fourth, and we're up to fifth now with our rear wings. Just a little bit above average, but we're up to fifth. So we did make some ground up there. Let's see if that reflects it all in what people think we're going to do. We're going to go with 5th or above again. And our usual 3-3-3 three, three, three split. That has not failed me yet this season. 
and parts 7th and 9th no change in our predicted finishing place unfortunately high tire wear high fuel burn and it's going to be 19 degrees which I think that's good weather for regular softs which would normally start with being in the back as well but it all depends on when the rain begins of course and this could be one of those tracks with rain plus sprinklers but generally water giving us the advantage as it did last time with Chapman's uh, you know strategy screw up that let us not have a disaster Piaget up to 20 on feedback that's nice Oops, got to be 90 there, 80 there, 375 again. Try that out for Sharp. What about Camille? I think again a little bit more downforce to start things out, but she's leaning more towards the understeer and acceleration side, which if I remember correctly, acceleration is bigger on this track than you might think. So what we've got, uh, well, what we've got is two drivers not driving very well today. And it's 25 right now, which is much warmer than it's going to be during the race. Won't do too well for us testing out tire temps, as we know that they're going to be warm. Uh, need at least mediums to properly deal with 25, and even that would be a little bit warm. I believe 23 is the optimal temperature for medium tires most going out on softs a few thinking ultras or super softs are better Chapman and Holtz going out on ultras I actually don't mind that because they're probably not gonna want those during the race they're gonna be in the back with us especially Chapman Sharp liking the speed balance, which was more towards the speed side, so maybe this is going to be a speed track. Weird, they both like the gear ratios even though I didn't set them the same. I don't think I set them the same. Both drivers are improving their form a little bit at least. There's our level one trim. And there's sharp, you know, faster track than expected as it almost always is, but still a decent length, probably fairly average length track. Wexler going faster, so does Schmidt. We're definitely not off to a super quick start. And Sharp finally with something to say, I want more downforce. Nothing for Camille Piaget, but you know what? You need... To work on the tires uh, temperatures anyway so come in cool them off a bit Holtz with a 122 just under 
73 percent and we're really not happy with much of anything here are we okay let's go with definitely higher down force and we'll assume all the stuff that normally goes along with that which is more understeer and more speed so we'll try that for now and that's weird I thought I hit that in plenty of time for her to come in but she didn't moved up speed wise while sharp is down in last which is hilarious I guess I hit it just a bit late to get her in she does love the handling though it did at least get a comment out of that last lap okay pretty good first setup here yeah, 87%. We're only dealing with tweaks. So, obviously, you don't want the downforce quite as high. Let's try 0.6 there. Speed. Still going to say a little bit faster. We'll see how that works. Maybe there, and just a touch more understeer. Okay. Let's give that a whirl. We'll be coming in soon to switch tires. How soon remains to be seen. Times, of course, continue to get faster. The track continues to get faster. Staying warm, though. And I think we've got to go around again after this, at least with one driver. So we'll leave her out there and bring in Zoe Sharp. have her switch to supers and we don't like the speed balance anymore okay it is an improvement so I think a little bit more understeer and we definitely want to be on the acceleration end of things Maybe about there or just a bit more. Do that. That might be too far. I'm going to try that, see what happens. See if we can wrap up these tires on this go round. Should be able to, really. likes the arrow better there we go so now she will come in for the switch seventeenth and twentieth that's pretty darn ugly 
but we are looking really good with this setup up to 96 percent just got to tweak some things okay good to great maybe a little bit more downforce A little more speed, perhaps. Let's try that again. We're just making small little adjustments at this point because we're most of the way there. And Sharp liking the speed better. So let's speed this up. And Sharp moves up to 12th. At least vaguely competitive now. But let's go ahead and come in for temperature reasons. About halfway there on super softs at the moment and yeah we just need to lock in that speed balance 96 percent for the second car good poor and good so this was good and this was good so I think we just need more acceleration Have Camille come in on this lap. Glad you like it. And again, we've got to lock in the speed. Staying at 96%, but with different issues at this point. So that was good. Great. And good. So we want a little bit lower on the... want to go a little bit more on the acceleration side. Let's try it there. And that might be a little bit too low, but... In fact, I think it is. What if we... There we go. Let's see how close that is. Twelfth and eighteenth. About a second back for Sharp. And probably should come in now. Liking the speed for both drivers. And yep, that's going to max out. We're going to switch to Ultras for whatever we can get out of them and see if we can make any final adjustments oh my goodness 97 percent still not there okay so that was great that was excellent and that was great so we need that little bit more understeer and then good good Great, so a little bit more top speed. 
I think that does it right there. It's going to be really close if it doesn't. Should have brought her in as well. So that was a bit of an unforced error, but it's not really going to cost us anything except for some ultra trim, which I don't really care about. There's no... Well, I shouldn't say there's no way. It's very unlikely I'm going to want to use Ultras. As the cars pass be right between each other, very unlikely I'm going to want to use Ultras on this warm of a track. Unless there's a short gap between rain periods or something like that that I know about. Close, but not quite there. 99%, and yet we don't have the speed balance right in. Very rare to get 99% without having everything at excellent. Okay, good. Great. Good. And great. So that's great. And that's great. So what about right in the middle? problem is how do you keep this at excellent? You know what? I'm sticking with 99%. I'm not complaining about 99. We're going with it. And let's finish this up. See where Sharp is, but I think she should be set. I think that setup is going to be enough to get her that little bit closer that we need. Of course, 13th and 19th, not actually as bad as the last race, but not award winning either. So it's time to find out if Steinman and Scuderia are going to run away with this because they took the top four spots in practice, or if we can once again fight our way up and be in the mix and not lose uh, a terrible amount of points here. So Chapman's disappointed not to finish on top, finishing behind Holtz, who is excited. Let's see what we have in the race. It is going to start by raining. How much rain? I wonder. Do we have to start on inters? The drivers think so. Yeah, they're not wrong. We're going to be on inters for the first... Hmm. Looks like 15, 16 laps, which means we're probably not going to want to push them. What about after that? After that, it looks clear. We don't know now. Looks clear from about the midpoint of the race on. Let's see how many laps we're going to get out of each of these tires. The enters about 20. So we can push them a little bit, but not much. It's going to be... Yeah, I think we're going to push for like a lap and then back off. Softs would give us 32, Super Softs 28. It really matches up well to go Super Softs. Well, no, it's probably not quite enough. Inters and then Super Softs would probably leave us just a bit short. High wear track. I'm going to go with Softs. debatable whether that's the right answer definitely but let's go softs and race trim
and uh, not uh, boy 98% I was hoping for hoping for more excellence than that but 98% is not bad at all we'll go with that and we're gonna want to drop down to 31 here we're gonna lose 13 laps of fuel Starting in the rain is always interesting because of the crash risk. And I think everybody's doing it here. Yep, everybody says enters. Sharp uh, projected at a 6, Surikov at a 7, everybody in the back looking good. A lot of drivers looking good, really. Yeah, so let's see how this goes. Slide up to let, take a look at Surikov as usual. Good start for Surikov, but had a little trouble running into the back of, I believe that was Holtz. But definitely off to a pretty good first lap, whereas Sharp, well, has picked up a position due to Chapman having some sort of disaster early. So that's, uh, boy, that's just so sad to see Harry Chapman having a bad start. Not. We, have a, we had a couple bad ones the last couple starts. We had somebody go wide in the first lap, I believe. So, not, uh, not unhappy with this at all. Sharp unable to move up more than that one spot, though. That's a bit concerning. Surikov right in the middle of things now. And I'm going to go down to push on the tires for this second lap. Because of how much. Whoa. Ribeiro goes out of the way and crashes. Right in front of Surikov that happened. Because of how much uh, tire wear is going to be an issue in getting through this rain. Is why I'm doing this. But Surikov all the way up to 6th. Looking good. And Sharp in back in 17th. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Zoe not lighting it up. And Surikov at 6-7, Sharp at 5-5. Five, five. Pretty good form so far. Okay, where am I? I need to back off to neutral here at the start of lap 3. Surikov in 5th, Sharp 15th, now 14th, now back to 15th, but definitely moving up through the field. Surikov slides back to 6th. But still looking pretty good. Okay, points totals. Well, we're doing better than the other top teams because of Surikov, who has gone up through the ranks better. Wexler up now to 8th. But Chapman in 19th. Last of the car still running. Holtz in 17th. So Steinman doing great in practice. But early on in the race, not really able to back that up. And, you know, cars pushing at Surikov, I just don't think I can fight back right now. Because I need to get through this entire rain period. Yeah, that's going to take us to about lap 15. I want to track this starting on the next lap, but... I really think as Surikov is back up to 5th, I really think we need to not be going after it too aggressively. Crossing the line just as we click down to 75% on the tires for Surikov. And Sharp doing about the same, a little bit better on the wear, as usually she is, being a better driver. Although you couldn't tell it by this race. Sharp now ticking up into the scoring positions at 10th. We continue to be the strongest starting of the contenders, which is very, very nice.
Yeah, we're losing about 5% a lap here, and we got to get through another 10 laps. We're actually... We, we can't afford to push at all on these tires, and we're going to go into the red as it is, probably. So, Surikov fading, but there's nothing we can do about it. I'm curious how some of the others are. Like, we're at 68. Where's Wexler's tires? 66, so close to the same. 7th and 11th, and Surikov might just be regressing to the mean here. Nonetheless, uh, Scuderia is ahead of us because of Wexler getting by. So, the rain continues. It's getting wetter. And, of course, going more aggressive would mean increased risk. Pretty much everybody's staying neutral on the tires, and it's packing up here. Surikov continuing to have trouble holding on right now. This is DeGroff. And looks like we're going to lose the spot, but Nikolai not giving up. Still not giving up and holding on to it for the moment. So that's very nice. Sharp in 11th. And there was a point there where Surikov was less than 5 seconds off the lead and gaining... Now it's up to nine, as Blanc has really pulled away from the field. Almost a four-second lead. And there goes DeGroff now taking the, the position. Boy, look at uh, right up behind is Schmidt. Going more aggressively. Our tire temperature is gradually dropping here. So I think neutral is the way to go. And the temperature on the track is rising. It looks like it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to settle out at about 23. Which is warmer than we expected. And 23, then maybe 22 later. All the more reason to go with softs. So as this unfolds, I'm liking our strategy despite the fact that Surikov is really having a hard time hanging on to things. Sharp has slipped a couple spots to 13th, just not having a wonderful day. Let's slide back there for a bit. It's not far behind. There's a whole pack here. And you'd think Zoe's ability would get her by, but it's not happening right here. Chapman and Holt still 16th and 18th, not getting anything done. So I suppose we should count our lucky stars. But Sharp just unable to make it happen at this point. Still lots of traffic here, even in lap 10. Look at that, three wide. But here's something, up to 11th, at least for the moment, and Surikov is 6th. Fighting off uh, Jenny North at the moment. And successfully, Iker Vidal crashes. That's a second crasher. People going aggressive in the weather, most likely, is the cause of that. So we've lost two racers, or 10% of the field. And Surikov looking for a way past Moreno. Clearly is faster. Riding on the bumper now of Moreno. Come on. And Sharp moving up a couple spots. And then dropping back to 10th. 
and 11th, and back up to 10th. So a lot of fighting going on there, but Surikov now in 4th. Drawing even, we are now with the uh, Scuderia. And frankly, the other thing about this is I don't care much about Scuderia. We could lose by a significant amount to them and it wouldn't bother me because they're like 80, 90 points behind. What matters is Steinman who's got nothing. So this race is turning out to be quite excellent for us at the moment. Sharp finally up to 7th. So now we're running 4th and 7th and you can see our tires are better than the others. I think we're going to make it through this set where they're going to really struggle to do so. All of that is excellent. And I think it's time to go conserve on the tires. So that our tires don't burn out before we have to pit. This is lap 13. I think we got to make it through three more. Yeah. And sharp up to fourth regardless. Be really nice if she could hold that spot with Surikov three seconds ahead. And see, you got other tires, other cars now out. They've pit and they've come in soft tires on a track that isn't made for it. So we're definitely going to pick up time on them. Sharp holding on in fourth right now and pulling away. Now Chapman is getting up here now in 8th position, but it's it could be too late. It's us and Catano for the race lead. 20 points up still on Steinman. Lots of positive signs right here for Panther. We're gaining on Vasquez, who has very bad tires at the moment. Let's see how bad. Yep, going to come in at 16%. With the track still favoring our tires. And they both come in. So look at that. We're up to first and second. It's not going to last that long. But it's nice while it's here. We're getting into the red zone. So when can we come in? This is lap 15. Do I need to try to get another one out of this? And I don't think so. I think combination of the tire wear and the weather, you know, it's going down. It's time to make the change. So we're going to softs. Boy, you can only get 30 to 32 out of it, Surikoff. That's going to be rough. Going to have to try to make it though. Going to be conservative with the tires and try to make it. Now Sharp, I think, has a little bit better. Yeah. So you have a little bit more, but not a lot. So not often we see Nikolai Surikov in the lead. He comes in, followed by Sharp. Should be enough of a gap to pit. I think it was just barely. So definitely go conserve on your tires. And we're out in 7th and 8th. 3rd and 4th, if you count the fact that... Uh, people pitting and the other thing about this is of course they're gonna have to come in a lot sooner than we will so we're playing the long game here as we usually do and it's 24 it's gonna go up and down it looks like and then gradually get cooler later but both drivers definitely want to drop that tire temp as much as they can 
due to the situation of we've got to make these things last. That won't pan out well if we get sprinklers, but if we don't, we're going to have a big edge. Up now to fourth and fifth. And Sharp trying to hold off Schmidt, Chapman, and other people behind. That's going to get interesting. And we will have to go neutral some on the tires. So if they start getting close behind Sharp, I'm going to do that. Not much water left. They're coming up. Yep, let's go neutral. And also, let's go hybrid. So Sharp is going to try to get Schmidt to burn out his tires a little bit here. If she can hold off for a couple three laps here, we should be fine because... Ultras will wear down quickly. There's Oliveira coming in. We're going to move up to third and fourth again. Sharp not really pulling away here, but also not giving up much in the way of threat. Approaching the halfway point of this race and looking very nice indeed. Still in, it's close, but we're still in the winning position and it should only get better for us if we don't hit sprinklers. Wanna let the energy get down a little bit more and now here's Schmidt really pouring it on as the track's almost totally dry. We cannot afford to push any more than neutral. So we just gotta hope we can hold it. Might be able to push some, but oh and there's Saren in crashing. And the safety car is out. Hmm. I don't think most of the other drivers are going to pit, and I don't want to. I'm going to stay out. Let's go low and harvest. Save the fuel. Save the tires. And, you know, most of the cars being on fresh tires, I don't think they're going to want to go in. And doesn't look like they are. Question is, what do we do when we go green again? And I think I'm going to go... Your tire temps are still pretty low. Gonna have to go neutral here. But I think I'm gonna push and neutral. Is the highest that I can manage. And I'm gonna have some cars blow by me, but then they're just gonna have to go into the pits. So push and neutral is the most I think we can afford. Do that for a couple laps and then see where we are.
final lap of the caution. And of course, Saarinen crashing. Bad luck for them. But it is really going to help us because, of course, he's a Scuderia Rossini driver. Let's bump this back up to neutral. Gonna have to go neutral here as well. Back to conserve with Surikov. Just trying to micro this to get everything we can out of these tires. Safety car taken off. It's going to be going in soon. Right about now. So we'll go high and neutral for two laps. And do we have the fuel? Yeah, I don't know if we have the fuel to push it more than that. I also don't know if we have the condition to push it more than that. Let's go overtake in neutral. Do that for one lap and then I'll go down to high. I think that's going to be my compromise. I don't know. Let's find out. Sharp popping up to fifth. Surikov in sixth. The other cars have better tires. Or faster tires, I should say. Not necessarily better. And almost nobody, I think Woodford went in, nobody else did. Alright, let's switch down to high. And Surikov taking the lead among our two cars now. Sixth and eighth. Now Oliver is ahead of us on the same tires. That's a concern. Nobody else is really a concern right now because they'll have to go in. And now we come around to the beginning again, back down to medium. No real choice in the matter, 19 laps to go. Got to try to make these tires last. Still no sign of anything else. We should start developing some grip here. Schmidt using a speed burst behind us. So yeah, right now it looks like Oliveira first and we finish second and third or something like that. We're pretty much even with Steinman because Chapman is in fourth and Holtz is tenth. They're both on ultras though. They both will have to come in. We've got to hope that's going to be enough. And we're going to go hybrid again. Nothing. Just sit there and do the best you can.
I think these tires will carry us right about to the point that we need. If my calculations are correct, and of course we're going to eventually find out. We'll need to back off to conserve later, but this is not the time for it while everybody's being aggressive. We've got to try to hold our position. As I say that, sharp drops to ninth. So, struggling to stay ahead of Holtz should be a bad position to lose. Yep, right now Steinman's ahead of us. I don't think that holds, but we've got to be concerned about it. And we'll switch to harvest again. Still having a solid race from Sharp and a good one from Surikov, driving wise, as Sharp moves up to seventh. That brings us even with Steinman. really like to beat them here and extend that lead if only by a little bit given the struggles they had at the start and the tires are already below half for them it should not take that long boy blowing by uh, who is that Vasquez yeah Vasquez having serious tire issues We're up to 5th and 6th, still even, as Chapman has moved up to 2nd. And Schmidt is right there on Sharp's bumper. I don't know when to go conserve, but we're going to want to do it at some point here. Probably not yet. Well, actually, no, I do want to do it now. Because I just don't care if they pass us when they're going to go into the pits in a second. Wexler went in. That's Oliveira just ahead, who I think, if anything, has slightly better tires, slightly more left. Let's see. And is going on hybrid, too. So, she, yeah, she's just being smart. Good for her. 58%. Yep, just a hair above Surikov. If we can hang right behind there, now we're third and fourth. Chapman goes in. There we go, and Windsor Racing can do what it likes. If they move by Scuderia, good for them. But we need to worry about Steinman, and right now we're well ahead of them. And just trying to conserve our tires. 13 laps to go. Just a few laps until we have to turn on hybrid for good. We'll probably have to do one more short stint. And Oliveira in the lead. Now we're second and third. Holtz up to fifth. We've still got a big lead here. And I'm going to let him race. Normally I tell Sharp to go by. I'm going to let him race. Holtz up to fourth. 
Very temporarily, of course. Chapman is in ninth, about seven seconds back or so. We can't totally write him off as other cars come in and pit, and he's got fresher tires and all that fun stuff. One of the reasons why we're conserving now. Let's go a brief bit of hybrid here. We're losing distance to Oliveira. I think it's time to go neutral for a bit. Our tires are about at 50%. Oliveira's. 49%. So we gained a little bit of tire, but lost some distance. And now we're continuing to lose distance. So, yeah. I think Oliveira's got us. And up comes Chapman. Up to fifth. And there's Sharp going around Surikov. So let's see how this turns out. Can Zoe pull away? Can Zoe gain on Oliveira at all? Switch back to uh, Harvest. Condition's probably good enough to push a little bit for Sharp. But no, not for Surikov. That suspension is not looking great. So basically, at this point, Sharp is trying to chase down Oliveira, and Surikov wants to hold off Chapman. And as soon as they go hybrid, I think I want to push Sharp up to push. I want to wait on that for Surikov because of his park condition until Chapman gets closer. Sharp is gaining ground. The question will be, is it enough? Alright, 2.2. I'm going to flip him over and put him on high. And then Surikov only, yeah, losing ground quickly. Two, uh, two seconds. one point seven and I'm just trying to stretch it out here as much as I can bit of a hitch there don't usually have them for that long second and a half And Sharp is not gaining ground, so that doesn't look like it's going to happen for us. Although with better tires than Oliveira, you never know. And I'm going to have Sharp drop back to conserve so that he's got tires for the end. Okay, it's under a lap, or under a second, rather. So now Surikov is going to push. See if he can hold it. Probably not, is what it looks like here. 
sharp fading back even further now. Chapman trying to get by. Gets a side there, but Surikov holding it for the moment. Nice save. And every lap increases our position. Where's Oliveira on tires? Yeah, 23%. The last few laps, Oliveira's tires are going to be in some serious trouble. Surikov continuing to just hold off Chapman, whose tires are wearing, but so are ours. And I'd go conserve here, but I just don't think I can afford to. Sharp's temps are low enough. Got to go neutral there. Down to a five second gap. No, you cer most certainly may not. I'm going to have to go conserve though. I have no chance at the end. It's time for that. Sharp is down to 4.6 seconds, and Oliveira's tires, at 17%, they're really going to start dropping off. Only three laps to go. Surikov still holding on to third. But I think we just lost it. Yep, there it is. And no point in going, you know, pushing the car now. So we're still we're still comfortably beating them. So now it's all about sharp chasing down. And Oliveira goes into the pit. So Zoe Sharp's gonna win this. Yeah, but you're fine. Chapman coming up, but is not going to catch her. And that's a 20-point win for us. Perhaps minus a fastest lap bonus, but still. Okay, hold on. Let's go down. Because we're not... We don't have as much energy left as I thought. So, yeah, we got to go low. go let's go harvest here Surikov I think has enough that should be enough to make it now on medium Final turns, and there's not going to be much left in the tank, but there doesn't need to be. 0 0.07. And Surikov in third. Very strong result for us. And this is really going to give us some much needed breathing room at the halfway point of the season. Zoe Sharp wins after she hadn't won for a few races. Oh, and Wexler gets hit. Four spots for a uh, illegal part, which is going to help us even more. 
10 second penalty for Nina Holtz for Steinman who wins the fastest lap bonus for them unfortunately but that's a really minor thing all things concerned Surikov back up to third in the standings ahead of Lipinen Sharp of course builds on her lead and the team championship 72 point lead is our biggest of the year. Scuderia and Windsor tight for third. But nothing matters now except for us and Steinman. And looking pretty good there now. Just over a race and a half worth of points. And we're looking pretty good here. We've got a look like a boost in adaptability and a recent one in braking. Um, solid race for Zoe Sharp. Pretty average for her on the year. I think it's definitely Surikov's strongest. Yeah, by a good margin, his strongest. He finishes third and, of course, had the good start getting himself up towards the front of the pack. All positives here. We win over a million. The new engine is finished, so we'll need to take a look at that, get going on it, and decide what part we're going to work on next, which is going to be a big deal. As our car remains in fifth, it's about half of what the best cars are in quality, they say. The ones for Steinman and Scuderia. And we're a little above average in the field, but we'd really like to boost that up, of course, if at all possible. Going to be raining at Guildford, probably to our advantage. Hopefully we'll need to uh, use those new engines there. And of course the rear wing is still going to come in handy. But what are we going to design for the second half of the year? And we can continue, can we continue to stay at arm's length from Steinman? So that will be coming up next time as we head to England. Till then, thanks for watching. Motorsport Manager will return.